Curveball just has both games. This is a this is a spoiler for the next two games. Curveball and Cubert's Cube. So there was a another game with Cubert in it. Yes, I know it got a home a home port. Um, I thought this had come out in 1984, but I guess it's 83. Cubert was a uh, gigantic hit for Gottlieb, the, their most successful arcade game. So obviously, uh, you got to make a sequel. Yeah, I got a cartoon and everything. He's a funny little guy. People love uh, funny little guys. The flyer says 84, but that's because uh, Curveball came out in 84. So I think that's that's why it says it. <laughs> Is it as good as more challenging, Cubert? Um, I think it might be better than that. But, um... Uh, I'm not really doing a long intro for this. Let's just get into it. Well, let's just play this shit. Because <laughs> obviously, you know, Cubert hmm? uh, played from an isometric perspective. You're going up a pyramid, turning uh, turning tiles over to another color. I guess at some point they said, like, uh, what if we just made them cubes? Because, you know, the Rubik's Cube is real hot. That was uh, that was one of the hot fads of the early '80s. The rat will fall off of a turning cube. Catch anything green for points. Avoid all else. So you have it turns the way you hop. You have to jump in a specific way to turn the cube the way you want to turn it. So you have to. You have to see the cube from the inside. And then that makes the cubes disappear. Oh shit, the demo's making it look easy. This game's impossible, this game is too complicated for me. Yeah, funny thing about that. So, the last time I streamed this, I don't remember if it was Mame Roulette. It might have been Mame Roulette. I doubt this came up in like a sub raffle or anything. Um, I was struggling with this. I was uh, I was not having a good time. Uh, I was getting heckled by somebody who uh, chose not to come has chosen not to come to the stream anymore. Not to, I didn't ban them or anything, but they were uh, they were talking a lot of shit about me uh, being bad at the game. They're the kind of person that enjoys slide puzzles. That's all I'm going to say about that. Anyway. Uh, credits. Yes, start. How do I start? Move Cubert to select your strategy level. You must complete one round to get the bonus points. They didn't have enough room for the, the thousands of points. All right. So you gotta make a tic-tac-toe out of completed cubes. Okay. So we have to match... Okay. Like that. I don't know which way to, like, turn these things. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay. Ah! I was trying to get the green thing for points. So it's hard for me to like keep track of like which way the the cubes get turned. Do I turn it this way? No. There we go. Oh, that doesn't even freeze the enemies. Son of a oh. Double KO? Hey! Ty goes to the runner, let's go. Alright. I don't know which way to... Okay. So yeah, if you're really good at Rubik's Cubes, uh, maybe this is the game for you. But I can't keep track of like where this is going. <laughs> I don't know which way to turn these, and you have to like keep track of all these enemies jumping around. 
Because, like, I'll admit, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Qbert. But at least, like, it's easy to understand. Like, it has a difficulty curve at the beginning. It's just, you know, hit every every tile to turn it, like, a, another color. Yeah, okay. So it's easy to understand, and then, you know, you get to level two. Okay. Hit each tile twice. All right. I got it. I understand. And then they start throwing you the curveball. Heh, <laughs> I, I made a pun. Um, you have to, when you hit it once, it goes one direction. You hit it again, it goes a different direction. Okay, so now you have to be more careful. It at least makes sense. Like, it's, uh, it at least, it's easy to understand. Wow, that was awful. So... <laughs> But to play this game, you have to you have to have an understanding of what the cube looks like. You have to like be really good at Rubik's cubes. And if that's not you, um uh, this might not be the game for you. I know it's not for me. It's hard for me to tell like which direction I'm supposed to be moving these. Like, I gotta go back around? No, that's not it. I just don't have the brain for this game, I think. I don't know what's up with the whole trampoline thing at the end. That's, that's automatic. That just kind of happens. Okay, I'm not going the right way. I understand what the game wants me to do, I just can't do it. <laughs> Which way do I do this? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I can never tell, like, which way I'm going to turn it. That's not it. I gotta turn it the other way. That's not it. <laughs> Whatever. It's just too much stress on on top of like everything else going on. And enemies are like, you know, doing their thing, so it's hard to like get into the the right spot to turn it in the direction you want to turn it. Like that. Which wasn't the right way, but whatever. Okay. I guess that works. Who is that? I'm making up new OCs for this. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Sebmall! Thank you for the big host. How's it going? How was Sonic Frontiers? <laughs> okay, I need one more down here. I regret to inform you that yes, Qbert is happening. Hey, I got an extra life. How do I fucking... T I, I can't turn that the other way. So I have to, like... There's no way for me to turn it the way I want it. There we go. I don't get it. <laughs> this is still level one, by the way. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump around randomly and hope I do stuff. Yeah, like that. A safe space for Mr. Do fans. You will not get, uh, you will not get banned here for Mr. Do opinions. <laughs> I 
I know it rotates the direction I jump off it, I just don't know what the cube looks like all the time because there's enemies chasing me. Jesus. I get how the game works. I just can't do it. I'm not a do freak, I just think do run runs an okay game. What am I doing here? I didn't read any of that. I can't... Oh. Yeah, how the fuck am I getting to the bottom? So now there's like... Yellow and purples. I know, any excuse to backseat, I know how you work. <laughs> you thoroughly enjoy this game? Well, I'm glad it found some kind of audience, because it ain't me. I'm just gonna jump around and hope for the best. This may be the best I've ever done on this. <laughs> as sad as that is. Big 225. <coughs> oh, there's more colors now. Yeah, like I said, I'm not even... I'm not even a fan of Cubert in the first place. But I would at least, like... I would definitely play the original over this. And I can at least, like, respect that it... It makes sense. I mean, yeah, it starts getting it starts getting complicated when when the when the uh, the things can like change back, and then they can change back between like three different colors. I do not respect the bird. Kubrick gets no respect. Why change the enemies? Uh, they need more material for the cartoon? I don't know. But yeah, Coily's like more recognizable as a... as a Cubert enemy, not this fucking rat. <laughs> Why would he do that? like one of the Atari consoles, like 7800 or something? Did I get that wrong? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just jumping trying to stay alive. It's a fucking rat! I jumped on him. I should have squished him into into dust. Oh, is it 2600? Well, I'm sure it, I'm sure the 2600 handled it beautifully. At least once you're done with one of the cubes, they don't change back. And there's no asshole enemies like undoing your progress. So I guess I can give it up for that. Wow. Bonus, 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 bonus. Uh, what? No. Oh. 
Just keep it in upright. It usually works. <laughs> and yeah, you don't need to complete the entire board. Maybe later on you have to like make two tic-tac-toe. Oh god! I think we're at the the fuck this part of the game. <laughs> Alright, well. You got to play for way too long. Get off the fucking machine, idiot. Damn, I thought that was good. Yeah, I can't even do a Rubik's Cube normally. You want me to do it under under this kind of pressure? Now we got now we got this blue motherfucker. Same. Hey, I cleared one round of level three. Did I get another extra life? God fucking damn it. This is definitely the best I've ever done. <laughs> as sad as that may be. Okay. Kinda... Kinda get one part of it, but... I can't get this one to turn the way I want to turn! Oh boy. Ah! 51,575. Okay. Ah, uh, we have we have arrows made out of cubert heads, but we don't have uh We couldn't use cubert heads to spell out rub. Why am I even like signing my name on this? Bye -bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I said bye bye, but it sounds more like I'm sorry. I'm sorry you played this. I'm part of the Noser Elite. I'm so I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Ay ay ay. A supreme noser. It's not enough to be part of the noser elite. You have to be a supreme noser. You say it in the, the killer instinct announcer voice. Supreme noser. Alright, Cubert's cubes. I got some art to catch up on after this. I'm going to do that during the poll. Um, so think about what you just saw. <laughs> Would you want to play this video game? Would you want to put 25 cents into this into this arcade game to play? How would you feel? Vote now. Is it super rare? Outrageously rare. Okay. Oh, I was about to sneeze again. Uh, there's there's definitely some people that'll that'll see the appeal of this. Um <laughs> Fortunately it's not me. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of twos. A lot of ones, too. I realized I didn't meet the audio. Um... But there were some threes in there. The ones and the threes were almost tied. Um, okay. 
Chat gave it a 2, 47%. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna look like such a such a miserable hater if I give this a one. I mean, even if you, I, I made that last credit like last for a little bit. Uh, I had more fun with this than, than faster, harder, more challenging, Cubert. Like, that game's the definition of a one. That's just, like, you just strip all the fun out of it. Alright, I'm not getting the... I'm not getting the, the Cubert Defense Force after me. The cube turns in the direction you jump, you see. I'll give it a two. Even when I didn't have a, a good strategy, I was able to, like, survive for a little bit. Because for the most part, the enemies... The enemies aren't that intense. Like, the uh, the enemy patterns are a lot kinder than they, they are in regular Qbert, I guess because they, they, kind of, uh, they kind of intend for you to be spending more time, like, thinking about stuff. I don't get that either, JCW. Did they... They think it was Super Cubert? And nobody bothered to change the name? Who knows? Who knows? Alright, let's do some, uh... Let's do some art catch-up. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chubo. Oh, there's the... It's too damn hot. Thank you for the... <laughs> for the jackrabbit heart. Uh. <laughs> How do you think the bombs get on the field? I like how even the other bear is weirded out by that. And of course, there was absolutely no way I could play a Three Stooges game without uh, without Chuba around. Larry's naked again. <laughs> that should have been the. Uh, that should have been the side art for the cabinet. Maybe not with the nude Larry, but... <laughs> but I, I like the dynamic uh, action hammer pose on, on Mo. <laughs> Thank you for that, Chubo. Uh... Yeah, somebody's skull is getting fucking split open. Uh, thank you, Clouds, for whoa. for what maybe the the world's first alone shuttle art uh, shuttle crew fan art. Bongos in the uh, the rub end spaceship. <laughs> Don't trust that bongo ball. Nobody does. Thank you for that, Clouds. What did I just drag? I just dragged something in OBS. I don't know what I just did. I think I just fucked up my layout. <laughs> It'll be fine. Uh, thank you, Clip It, for... <laughs> Jack Rabbit beating one of those two jerks. What? At least one of those two jerks. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, I'm running out of room on my layout again. Thank you. Where'd it go? Thank you, Ann K. Oh, it's a Cubert jump scare. <laughs> oh, he's got a, he's got a bongo knee. He's got Cubert's got bongo knees now. Ha, ha, ha. 
And don't get me started on that schnoz. Thank you, Anne, for that. <laughs> See that in your nightmares. He's got hair. Yeah, well, no, those are eyebrows. Like, Qbert's up to something. I don't trust him. And thank you, Big Bear, for, uh... <laughs> True nightmare fuel all around. Fantastic work, everybody. Thank you, Big Bear. Thank you, NK. Thank you, Clippet. Thank you, Clouds. Thank you, Chubo. 